Say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back to another episode. Look at this. Here I am. I'm playing in my sheriff's account and I'm playing the Canon Panza. Uh, the, the original Canon Panza. That tier 8 German uh, premium TD. You never see them. Uh, because, um, uh, well, no one buys them. And if you do have one, you probably never play it. Because uh, oh, this vehicle has been described... Uh, in some places as uh, perhaps not being suitable to certain players play styles uh, which in North American English means it fucking sucks uh, but this video is not really about this particular TD it's about the new one the new Canon Panza uh, which Wargaming is just releasing an upgraded Canon Panza instead of having a 90 millimeter gun it has a 105 millimeter gun here it is right here and um, I'm gonna give two of them away for free that's right you heard that right you're tuned into the channel that just keeps on giving. Uh, two of you will win uh, one of these tanks. There'll be a, a simple little contest. All you have to do is uh, endure watching my video here. <laughs> Where I will show you some gameplay in the old Canon Panza. And then some gameplay in the new Canon Panza. And I'm going to rant a little bit uh, as the, you watch the gameplay. And then I'm going to explain to you how... Um, how you can win one for free in a little contest I've uh, got that up here. So uh, this old one, uh, this Canon Panza, it's, let, let me describe it briefly. No garage reviews or bullshit, just the, the straight no bullshit uh, review of this thing. It's a piece of shit. Uh, it has no armor and it has negative armor, which means that everyone, uh, including some HE rounds, will penetrate you. Tier 10 tanks have the chance of one-shotting you. Artillery can one-shot you. Your armor is so thin that the overmatch rule works in a way that almost every gun that you will face in tier 9 and 10 will penetrate you regardless of the angles you see there. Whatever angle, there, it's auto pen. Okay? You're fast and you have a gun that plinks away and does 240 damage a shot. Uh, so it may not be suitable to your playstyle. <laughs> This is an example of a tank that uh, that fucking sucks. Now, it does have very good camel rating, so you can camp like a pussy at the back and, and have some good games. And uh, I've got the bino binox and camel net, so I am prepared to camp like a pussy, but I got bored and I'm moving in here to just give this thing a, you know, a fair shake, see if I can brawl. I'm in my sheriff's account, so if a lucky enemy kills me, they win 250 gold. You know, why not let uh, make someone happy? This is the way I'm approaching it. But... Uh, this is one end member. This is, uh, maybe it was okay when it came out, but with the the way power creep, I guess is the best way to describe it, the way the game is going, this tank is utterly hopelessly, pathetically bad now. And I'm sure that Wargaming does not sell a lot of them, and judging from, I, I never see them on the battlefield, so I don't think a lot of people play them anymore. That's one end member. Now the other M member is this guy. Now this one is also a tier 8 German premium TD. It has a gun that does more than twice the damage per shot. And it also has a turret. And it's also fast. So why the hell would you play this thing when you could play a Scorpion G? Well now, you know, that is a very interesting question. It leads to a whole discussion. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my opinion here. I think that both these things are what's going to happen here. Some guy's trying to come and kill me because I'm a sheriff. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. You want 250 gold? You want 250 gold? Let's see if you can get the 250 gold. Oh, I missed. Holy shit. He's going to win 250 gold. Someone help. Help, help, help. Oh, someone come to help me. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. 250 gold for you. No fun for you. <laughs> oh, here comes his buddy. Holy shit. Another one's come. <laughs> Take a shot. Got him. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> well, that was fun. See, you can have fun even in a horrible piece of shit is my point. No, wait a minute. That wasn't my point. This is my opinion, the discussion here. I, I think both these, this old Canon Panza with the 90 millimeter gun is underwhelming in every way. And then that Scorpion G is overwhelming in every way. The Scorpion G represents the, it would be described in some places as a very suitable to your play style, which in North American English means it's fucking broken overpowered. Now, in my opinion, I don't think that either end member is really good for the game in the long 
in the long run. Now let me see if I can explain this. Uh, uh, the, the Scorpion G is it represents the ultimate power creep in the game. And, and Wargaming went through a little phase there where they uh, they introduced some tanks that were obviously better than their tier tier for tier counterparts. Uh, they weren't premium tanks that were uh, similar, uh, slightly different or slightly worse, but made a lot of credits than their counterparts tier for tier. There were tanks like the Scorpion G that was obviously better than the Borsic. Tanks like the Defender, which uh, if you're an IS-3 driver, well, you know, you can't kill the guy that paid 50 bucks and owns a Defender. Uh, tanks like the Patriot. They, they went through a phase where the premium... Oh, and this guy just won 250 gold. He killed me. I didn't even notice that. Oh, way to go, buddy. Well, enough of watching me playing this old piece of crap. Let's watch someone who knows what he's doing in the new Kanon Panza. The one with the 105mm gun. Kakap Kakapkov is going to show us how to play this new one. It's basically the same tank with a bigger gun. And this is a new premium tank that Wargaming has released. Now let me get back to my little uh, uh, rant there about some of the overpowered tanks that were released, re were released in the past. And I think, uh, I think obviously they sold a lot of them because you can play Clan Wars now and it's uh, tier 8 uh, skirmishes or Clan Wars and there's like 8 defenders per side and 2 scorpions per side. Scorpion Gs. And it's, it's obvious that they're overpowered and they might have sold a lot of them and made some money in the short term but what that does is it completely alienates the older player base you, you gotta realize that not everyone is gonna rush out to buy the new and improved mob uh, some of the new players may, that just started say oh look at this a defender and they buy it and uh, you know they're they're happy because it's this kind of powerful tank but a lot of your older players the guys that bought an is6 or uh, an fcm 50t or a or a kv5 or a you know, uh, heaven forbid, uh, an AMX CDC and invested money in the game. A and then the Defender comes on sale. It, it renders almost all of those old tanks obsolete. It, it just completely turns the game on its head. It destroys the meta. All of a sudden, if you don't have a Defender, you're not competitive in uh, Tier 8 Clan Wars. And then what do they have to do? Start uh, fiddling with some matchmaking? They get some statistics and say... Uh, oh my god, the, these, when the defender is top tier, th the team with the most defenders wins. We better make the defender bottom tier all the time now? Or I don't know, how do you fix it? You can't nerf the tank. So you got the situation where people that roll out in, uh, in an IS-6 or a regular tier 8 tank that get completely annihilated by a defender. Uh, they're pissed off because, uh, you know, that guy's a, it's a, he's a wallet warrior. He, you know, he just slapped his 60 bucks down and he's got a better tank than me. And then the guy that owns the Defender that's bottom tier 99% of the time because, hey, we can't make him top tier, the tank's too good. He's pissed off because he bought a Defender and he's always bottom tier. Everyone's pissed off. And it's a destroyed the meta of the game. On the other hand, the guys that bought uh, the older tanks, like the original Canon Panzer with the 90mm underwhelming gun, well, maybe it was okay for a little while, but it is so underwhelming now that... No, they, they're not happy with it. It's just left in their garage. The key is to have balance for, for the game to be balanced. And now we're watching this new Canon Panzer with the 105mm gun. And I have to say this thing is, uh, from what I can see, balanced. It's fast. It has shit armor. But it has a pretty good gun. It doesn't have over-the-top uh, DPM. It's not going to destroy the meta. You're not going to see a, a 10 versus 10 of these in, in Tier 8 Clan Wars. Uh, this thing is kind of like that French, uh, the AMX with the 105mm gun. It's fast, has a really good gun, not great armor. Uh, it fits in to tier. It's not a Scorpion G, which I think is overpowered with a, a gun that hits for all. You can roll 550 with a Scorpion G. And it's not the old Canon Panzer with the gun that plinks away, you know, tier 6 style. And I have to say the, uh, the most recent premium tanks that have come out uh, have been... Uh, uh, quote-unquote balanced, meaning they, they haven't destroyed the meta. And I think that's key for the long-term uh, growth of the player base, right? If, if these new premium tanks are going to come out, at least make them uh, so that they fit into the existing meta, so they don't break the meta, so that people don't say, oh, well, if you don't own the new whatever object, well, whatever the fuck, then you, know, you, you, you don't have the best tank. It has to be a tank that... Uh, Premium tank should make credits. Uh, it should be 
similar to uh, its peers in uh, penetration and DPM and uh, damage. Or It should have maybe some statistics that are better. In this case, it has really good camo, really good mobility. It should have some statistics that are worse. It doesn't have any armor at all. It still has the 30 millimeters of armor. So if you get spotted, uh, you're going to pay the price. It doesn't have very high DPM. What it is, it has its own niche. It is a support vehicle with a pretty good gun for tier 8 that you will not feel inadequate in tier 10 matches. Uh, but you're not so overpowered that you could carry a, a game when you're top tier. Uh, and I think that's good. So uh, all I'm saying is that it, Wargaming, if you're planning... Uh, on coming out with a new, uh, you know, a Russian heavy tank with a thousand millimeters of armor, an auto loader that does 600 damage per shot uh, with 600 meter view range, uh, don't release that one. And for, for those uh, of you clueless morons that don't understand exaggeration to make a point, I was exaggerating to make a point there. Uh, I think it's really important to try and keep the game balanced because then everyone's happy. You don't want some of your legacy older players that have uh, invested in the old stuff to become frustrated and leave you want them to c continue to enjoy the game so that they will be the guys that uh, g get recruits and introduce new people to the game and increase the player base and you don't want those potential new players to have the perception that oh i have to spend money buying a premium tank or i won't be competitive in the game they'll never start playing uh, if you do it that way you, you can introduce you know the defender too and you might make a quick buck for a couple of weeks but uh, if that, that will not be good for the long run. And I'm happy to say that, like I said, most of the ones that have come out recently, uh, to me, have appeared pretty balanced. And this one appears pretty balanced. And uh, it's actually quite interesting what, what they're going to do here. Let's uh, have a quick look at uh, what the plans are for release of this thing. And uh, here I am on the Wargaming website, pre-sale Canon Panza 105. So what, what does that mean? I know they got a nice video here, which I'm not going to watch. And they got some uh, uh, discount and swap options. That sounds interesting. Uh, Here's some of the stats. You don't care about that shit, right? Right? I mean, we don't care about stats on this channel. <laughs> There's a let's look at the pictures. Let's look at the pictures. You know, uh, you, well, you don't really have to look at the pictures because we're watching a fucking game with the tank. Let's go down here. Now, look, option number one. Get the Canon Panzer 105 for a 50% discount. That's interesting. If you own the Canon Panzer, the old one with the 90 millimeter gun, you can, uh, and you want to keep it, you can buy this one for 50% off. Hey, okay, no premium account is required. You can do this until October 10th, October 3rd to 10th. That's why I'm making this video so that you'll know. If you own the old one and you want to keep it and buy this one for 50% discount, you can. Or you can swap your Canon Panza for the new one. If you own the old one, are you following me here? If you own the old one, the Canon Panza with the 90 millimeter gun, and you hate it, you can swap it till October 29th at 4.20 p.m. You could swap it for free to get the, the new one. No Russian refund. <laughs> they must have watched my Russian refund video because you don't have to pay a small service charge to swap it. Now, hey, okay. Um... Uh, that to me sounds like uh, that's no bullshit. Uh, if you want to keep your old one and buy this new one, uh, well, if, if you don't want it, that you don't have to buy it. <laughs> I'm not telling you to buy it. But if you, you know, if you collect tanks and you want this new one, you have the old one, you could buy it for 50% off. If you hate the old one, well, uh, and they realize it's underwhelming in every way, trade it. You got till the 29th, you can have this one. And I think this one's more balanced. Now, maybe they should make people trade their Scorpion Gs for this one too. Mandatory. Uh, but I don't think that's uh, going to work. The trouble is there are a few overpowered ones out there, like the Scorpion G and the Defender mostly, that I don't know what they're going to do. But th those are in the game to stay. Maybe uh, matchmaking will crush the spirit of any uh, owner of a Defender if you're bottom tier every game. And Well, eventually, um, I think if they just keep releasing balanced tanks as premium tanks then over the long run if the player base increases then you'll see more and more of these and less and less of the overpowered ones if they never release them again that's my advice uh we'll see what they do but so my opinion this thing uh you know uh, this is let's watch let's let's actually watch some gameplay here this guy <laughs> that we're watching now uh kakap kakapkov is uh now by himself versus 
how many? Six? He's by himself versus six. So, <laughs> and I know I just told you this thing is not overpowered. It's not going to destroy the meta. But no, the, you watch this. This guy uses the bushes and hit the strength of his tank. This gameplay is impeccable. He uses the camo and the gun. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I forgot to mention one thing. I forgot to... If you own one of those old cannon, cannon Panzer with the 90 mil millimeter guns and you still have it, I think... Um, I'm pretty sure in North America as well, uh, you will get a 50% increase in your XP when you play that thing, if you keep it. And if you still have it to give you, I guess, incentive to play that horrible... You could ha play a shit tank and get more XP. <laughs> it's like going to a restaurant that has really bad food. You know, the food is horrible and then complain about the portion size. You know, I didn't get enough of that bad food. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm about that. Oh, wait a minute. There's another thing. Yeah, I mentioned I'm going to give two of these things away for free. You guys have been watching. Have you watched the video? Did you hang in there? Or did you skip ahead? You, uh, you, you If you skipped ahead, you've missed some key things I said uh, a little while ago. Uh, you will not win the contest unless you go back and rewatch. <laughs> Those of you who didn't skip ahead, you know, between you and me. How do you win one of these? I'm going to give two of them away. Uh, Wargaming has given me uh, two to give away. And I'm not going to make it a complicated contest. Uh, you know, you're not going to have to go out and play a game and get Ace Tanker or uh, bounce the most shots in your heavy tank and submit replays. Because you know what? You guys, uh, I love you all, but like, holy shit, you guys can't follow instructions. Uh, we just did a giveaway where I, I, I gave away three IS-2Ms. And the rules were simple. Number one, you just had to be a subscriber. Uh, subscribers to the channel took precedence over other. Some people emailed me. I'm not a subscriber. Can I still win? No, fuck you. I, I've got people that have subscribed and supported the channel for years. I'm going to like some. Can I please win? I don't want to subscribe. Get a life. Uh, leave a comment, an entertaining comment. Sign the comment with your in-game name and the server you play on. 40% of you didn't get it right. Like, I, I just... Uh, I I don't know if... Like, what, what's wrong with you guys? Like, listen carefully here. These are the contest rules. Now, uh, all you have to do, number one, is be a subscriber to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, you're not eligible. Why would you be eligible when I've got 44,000 great people who support the channel? Uh, they are eligible. So, number one, you must be a subscriber. Number two is leave a comment in the comment section of this video that's it. some of you guys for the IS2M they, they, you left comments like all over the place on my Facebook page emailing me all sorts of shit like holy shit listen to the instructions leave a comment in the comment section of this video all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section of this video tell me why you should win this Canon Panzer 105. That's all you got to do. And I'm going to pick the two most entertaining comments. And you will win. Now wait a minute. I'm not done. Uh, be a subscriber. Leave a comment. Let me know why you should win one. Sign the comment with your in-game name that you use when you play World of Tanks. And this... this uh, I have to tell you, this contest is only... For people that play on the North American server. So if you're watching from the EU or uh, Asia or South America, I love all you guys, but uh, apparently Wargaming EU and Wargaming North America and those guys, I, I, maybe they don't like each other. Or they have trouble communicating or I, I don't know what their problem is, but they, why don't they just learn to share? You know, it would be, the game's played all over the world. It would be nice if they could do these things so that because the internet, we're on the interweb. People can watch from all over the place. I don't know why they do this, but I can o you can only win if you're from North America. So to recap, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment in this video comment section. Let me know why <laughs> you deserve this. Make it entertaining. Leave your in-game World of Tanks name. Let's see who the two lucky winners are. Check through the comment section, guys, and give thumbs up and uh, read and reply. And let's make this fun. And uh, good luck to everyone. Uh, let's see how this one ends off. If he gets this kill now, he wins uh, a lot of freaking medals. 
What is that square box on the gun? I mean, it looks exactly like the old Canon Panzer, but they put that stupid looking box on the gun. I guess that's so you can tell them apart, probably. If anyone knows what that stupid box is, let me know. Now, where the hell is that artillery? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Watch this. This is, He took the shot, and three seconds later, gets a, he did not get spotted until he sh fired his gun. I know there's a pine tree there. <laughs> this thing has over 50% camo. It has over 30% camo on the move. So, uh, so camping at the back like a pussy is, if that's your play style, <laughs> you're going to love this. You're not brawling. This is not a Chinese or a Russian one. But Holy shit, he wins the game. He's got nine kills. Let's look at the results here. He got the Radley Walters, of course. Kolobanovs. What is this? Destroy an enemy that has shot you at least five times. That's probably because he killed the Artie that hit him more than five times. And all those other medals. He finished way on top. And does this thing make credits? Of course, it's a premium tank. He didn't fire APCR. He made over 150,000 credits. So good luck on the contest, guys. And I hope you enjoyed uh, the video here. The Klaus Kellerman, no bullshit opinion on this thing. Uh, you're going to like it if you like TDs. If you got a German crew you want to train. And I think this is what a premium tank should be. Not overpowered, not underpowered, balanced, does not destroy the meta. Good for credit making and fun to play. I hope uh, all the future ones are going to fit those criteria.